All right, we're back. Circling back podcast Monday. My name's Will DeFries. To my left, David Ruff. I was just thinking how funny it would be if uh, Brett, Brett Merriman. 30-year-old Brett Merriman. Happy birthday to him. Happy belated. I went out to uh, West Texas, out Pecos Way, mm -hmm. to uh, check in on his property. He owns a little bit of land out there. He's never seen it. But if when he does go to see it, there's squatters on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like a squat rack. That'd be dope. If They're backers. No, I want it to be like a hippie commune. <laughs> I want it to be like a bunch of hippies that have just set up shop there and they ain't leaving. They've set up a little commune? Yeah. Like, nah, this is ours nope. now, buddy. Nope. We've been here for months. They've, yep. they've, uh, they've possessed his property adversely. And now he's got to go through like the hoops and be like, all right, how do I, what's going on here? I want it to look like Burning Man, but it was Burning Man from like 1989. Okay, Burning Man from 1989, but Bernie Madoff is there. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Like, why are you here? It was my first one. He's not how'd alive. You, how'd you get here? He's been unalive, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. He's dead. He's dead for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Famously tried to kill himself with sleeping pills, and then woke up. Mm. Tough one. Tough one. That's the worst. Yeah. He and his wife decided that they were going to take a bunch of sleeping pills. I think they took a bunch of Ambien, and then they both woke up. Oh yeah. They just did weird shit. I remember that from the movie. Yeah. I made a Bernie oh, Madoff. Yeah. I did a Bernie Madoff tweet one day about uh, a fit that he had after he died without doing any research about people Bernie Madoff. Like people did not like it. Yeah, I, I didn't do the research about the uh, the ripple effects of the financial devastation that he had caused these other families. They were mad that he ripped off Kevin Bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kevin Bacon lost a lot of money, which isn't funny, but it's funny that his name is Kevin Bacon. See, it's a Ponzi scheme, Randy. It was a Ponzi scheme. I remember this tweet. <laughs> Was it, was it a fire fit, though? I think it, it was, was a good, good fit. It was a good fit. Like, he had good style. But, yeah, the, the way that the tweet was presented at the time uh, during that conversation surrounding you know, Bernie Madoff, it just wasn't as well received as you would have thought. You know what? Sometimes you can separate the fit from the man, though. You, yeah. yeah. Like, if he, like, like, for example, some people, are, some people talk about Epstein's fits. Not me, but I've heard people talk about him. Look. He's got that classic late 80s rich dude Riz. Big on monograms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, a little over overkill like, on the monograms. Loves a chunky sweatshirt. Wants people to know who yeah. he is, which mm -hmm. is kind of an interesting... He he did love a sweatshirt from uh, from Ivy League schools that he never graduated from as well. Yes, that is Kind of just vibes. Um, no, I think you were good. That tweet, if I remember correctly, was fine. No, I think I think I actually remember asking you about it and you being like, okay, I th yeah, you're fine. I did, I did. I definitely deleted it though. It wasn't. Was that that was that during the really sensitive era of Twitter yes. when everyone was offended by everything? It. it de I think it was, and, but it wasn't like you. You didn't post like a war criminal. No. Yeah, he just robbed people basically. Kevin Bacon. In a way. Love Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Hate Footloose. That's the thing about me. I don't think I've ever seen Footloose. Remember he showed his crank in that one movie. Yep. Kevin Bacon did. It wasn't Footloose. What movie? Now, New Kids on the Block had a lot of hits. That's true. What are you laughing about, Randy? The, the him doing lyrics. I don't think you guys realized it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I didn't. Are you doing I, Eminem lyrics? Yeah, Chinese yeah. food makes me sick. Oh, you're doing until that. He, until he did the, the New Kids. Then I... But before that, I was lost. Dude, I'm crazy like that. Rest in peace, Rich. Wow, dude. Rest in peace. Oh. Yeah. Cancer. Yeah, don't know who that is, but it, that's sad to hear. Rich of the Light Funky Ones, also more popularly known as LFO. Uh, oh. They they pioneered the hit Summer Girls. Mm. Uh, he passed away recently. Oh, yeah. that's too bad. Yeah, they just thought bad. it was fly when girls would stop by for the summer. I think I, so, too. I think my life changed in ways that I can't grasp now when that song did come out. Like, that changed the trajectory of summer. It solidified Abercrombie and Fitch as being, like, the stuff. It it really it really decided a lot of things for me going forward. Can I guess the year? You can. <clears throat> I, think 19, you'll, I think you'll get it right. 1998. Hmm. I was gonna say 99. Dave was correct. 1999. I was close. <laughs> I'm in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember. I I, ta I was talking to a girl that summer who wore Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, like and this, I was like, dude, like I'm doing bad. the song. I'm doing the song, boys. <laughs> Bro, your life is a song, dude. Baby, you're a song. You make me want to roll my windows down and cruise. Dylan Shivery, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I'm still licking my wounds from Saturday. 
Your boy doesn't drink like that very often anymore, but he he got into he got into one. He tied one on. I saw I saw Dylan at like six yeah. fifty five. Party started at six. Most people arrived a little after six thirty. I saw Dylan walking through the bar at six fifty five, mixing in a water already. I was like, "Come on, dog!" I'm proud of myself. Near the end of the night, I, I shut it down like I like I usually do. I got that governor that kicks in. Like, hey, man, it's, ti it's time to Oi. time to down. Quit drinking there, buddy. Calm down, lad. And I no had more drinking, Dawn. Birthday boy presents me with a shot, um, and I was proud of myself. For turning it oh, down. Oh, come on. That is so lame. Don't act, don't pat yourself on the back on this podcast for turning down a shot Turned it from down. Our, our our employee who we love very much. You don't bring me a shot at the end of the night when I when boys your boy's been drinking you remember, all friggin' day. Was it Wednesday's yeah. episode? You're like, I'm gonna get annihilated. I'm gonna get so dude, annihilated. I got drunk. I am going to get annihilated this week. No, but I had that governor that was telling me I couldn't drink anymore. This is like eleven o'clock, man. All right, I've been drinking since 4.30. No, that's not that's a lie. I've been drinking since like 2. Oh, dude. I had champagne by the pool. Okay. That's fast. Okay. Do you have any uh, cake by the ocean after that? No. What the fuck? Me, me and Chelsea, we had, we had champagne by the pool, man. Champagne by the pool. Don't do any better. That's I will never get that. over the 55-year-old lady at Grand X who pulled in in her car blasting cake by the ocean. So loud that I, it was just like, what? Did she work for us? No, she worked for just some other company. That's some at the, shit right It there. was unbelievable. Like, she did, she took her Toyota RAV4, slammed into the parking spot, opened the door, and it was just going full blast. She's about to crush a meeting. She had a presentation oh, that she was about to just fuck up. It's over. Yeah. It's over for everyone. Dude, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> that's so bad. Bad. Dude, I worry that my car, like, you can hear the audio. Mine, mine is audio hearable. Audio hearable. I need to like I need to put it at my normal volume and stand outside of the car someday and test it out because I always get worried that like someone with their window down is gonna be like, can you turn that shit down? It was in a James Blunt just full blast. Ain't no shame in that, dude. Y'all used to make fun of me for it. I've been on a take all that shit back. I, I've been on a seal kick lately after that episode of Do You Know It, a game show no one podcast. Is on, no, one is, no one is on a seal kick. Oh no, dude. fifty-five year olds who are living good, drinking like expensive wine, mm -hmm. just making love every night. Yeah, to seal. They have a yeah. wine cellar in their giant like Scottsdale mansion, and they don't know what kind of wines in there, but they know it's expensive. They got good. seal on the Sonos throughout the whole house. Yeah. They're, that's who is keeping Sonos in business. <laughs> yeah, yep. the, the fifty-five to sixty-five demographic that like they had kids their, are gone. Their millennial kids uh, set the Sonos up for them. Yeah, this is it's running very smoothly. And now the they're just me making love, listening to Seal. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe a little Rod Stewart mixed in there. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with Rod Stewart. Randy, have you had a bunch of people recommend Sonos to you in your uh, vinyl journey? Or have you not been public enough about your vinyl journey? I haven't been public enough in my vinyl journey. No one's recommended anything to people me. People keep recommending Sonos to me. I'm like, that take, like that's not the – they're wireless speakers. That's not the point. Isn't the point of – like it's all to be like connected and – physical also sonos that they just don't work no okay i will ride for sonos the, the one sonos sound system that i had in my apartment worked flawlessly there was about a one second delay if you'd skip a song and it wasn't immediately gratifying but once i got it set up it worked great there's too many times i'm at someone's house and they got sonos like yeah we, it's, i can't get it to connect no we're just going with the bluetooth i'll just play it for yeah i'll play it for my jbl don't slight JBL. The uh, guy at uh, Pizzeria Sportiva, he was having some trouble with his, his uh, sound system. He was talking through it with the, the bar the barkeep there. I'm telling you, there was something about the versions of those songs they were playing that were not right. Yeah. They he, were not the original version. He said something like, when we when we play this, it basically kills one of the TVs. Like it occupied, like it runs through the TV, so you can't watch anything on it if they play music at the same time. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I mess. think I gotta fix that. Yeah, there's no bigger beating than being at a bar and asking them to change the channel, and suddenly you see them like on the menu flipping yeah. around. Yeah, and then they go to, like they can't find it on the regular menu because they have 750 channels, and then they go to the search, and you're like, oh, it's gonna take forever if they search this. Yeah, no that's, one's ever no one searches sports games. That's the first thing I do at every bar I go to. I just I belly up, order a beer, and I ask, can you put on, on a game? Yeah, put the game on. All right, game on. What channel? It's like I don't find find yeah, a way. I, I don't know. You have satellite. I, I don't know. What you that have is. you have twelve thousand channels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how it translates. Yeah. Do we get? And she like looks back. Do we get ESPN two? Or do we? Get, no, it's not. Used, it's ESPN University. Do we get? Do we get that? And it's like, oh, we're not going to get the game, mm -hmm. are we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're not going to get uh, Texas we're, State SFA. Yeah, we're going to miss the first three innings. <laughs> <laughs> 
We're going to have be... our phone against the napkin stand yeah. for just a little okay. bit here. That's a new bit. Um, really nice bars that clearly don't even have TVs. Just yeah. be like, you think I will put the game on? Yeah, can you put the game on? Can you just get the audio on? I'm worried about that place. Why? Because we're the only people in there? Yeah, at 1230 for lunch. We're the only people in there. Dylan only ate three-fourths of his pizza. I did. I ate my entire pizza as did Randy. I left satisfied. What do you want from me? Y'all do Zakhard pizza lunch on Friday? We did. Dude, we that's what's up. Walked. We tried Sportiva. You sound like you're really hot on it. Do an ad read for Sportiva right now. Sportiva. No, the, the, the little bar is like... That would be sick if you did every ad read. Like, should Dylan start doing more? The little Sportiva. bar scene in there is kind of cool. It's like a tiny it's, little it's place. A little cozy bar Can with I? like maybe six bar stools. And it's cool little... They have Guinness on tap. Do they have like... Do they have Peroni on tap? I'm shifting into Peroni mode. I don't think they have Peroni on tap. That would have caught my attention. Okay. Each bar stool okay. though is like a different bar stool character themed. Is there one for <laughs> bar stool chugs? Chugs is there. Yeah, chugs yeah. is there. Randy was sitting on Randy chugs. Randy sat on chugs. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Well, if you sit out there, you have to have at least five beers. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So he was just pounding. That makes I sense. I will say I, I enjoyed it. The pizza's quality. It's just I don't know. Does it have Italia Boy summer vibes? Ooh. Both the bartender and the owner who was sitting there. They both told us make sure we we douse the pizza with the olive oil that had olive oil that had sitting on the counter. Okay, how'd it so, go for you? It's like you had to get, you had to put the olive oil on it. I did. It did add a little some. I I have acquired some some olive oil that's specifically made for pizza, and we use it about half the time, mostly because we forget that we have it. And I will say I I really enjoy it. I'm okay with oiling the pizza. It is a good move. Yeah. This is an olive oil plus. There's some other things in there. This, yeah. The one that I have is infused with a, a touch of jalapeno. It's more Ooh, of a flavor play than a spice play. It Ooh, it's a collab. Garlic and something else, he said. I forgot. You know what I've really been freaking with lately? A little spicy honey on that za. <gasps> I love Ooh, that wee. move. I love that move. You're wild ass. Ooh, love it. They have I'm it at uh, uh, Pine House, where you often buy pizza from on the company card. Um, and yeah. you also bring it into the office. Leftovers. Uh, but yeah, they've Which got somehow it. offended y'all that I try to give y'all pizza. I don't know. There's some back. It's, it's a backhanded weird. offer. Like it's here, not. take this giant ass pizza box it's, off out of my sneaky, fridge. It's a sneaky sketch move. It's a, I don't want to eat pizza the next two days move. So I bring it here Why? for y'all. Same transaction. But like you would never do this if you worked at an office without us in the office. You would never like be like, hey guys, I brought in half of my pizza. If I was as comfortable around them as I am you guys, and yeah, I would. I think I think somebody ate it too. I think Randy probably ate it. It wasn't me. I was kind of put off that I still had a bite taken out of one of the slices. No, it didn't. That's such a trash move. Get rid of that slice. You're disgusting. What's going you on? Can see, you can see the imprints from the pepperonis oh. that he had taken off the top. <laughs> also, I, I noticed something else about Dylan. Dylan doesn't eat his crust. I don't eat crust. Same. So, I have, okay. I have like a couple bites of crust. Okay, to be fair, I, I will eat crust, but if my dog is next to me whining for it, I will usually give the crust to her. It just feels like such an empty uh, car carb play for me i don't know see that's why you got to dip it in that oil though maybe get some hot honey in the mix maybe you do stuffed crust pizza uh, yeah if i'm eating crust it's gonna be stuffed crust. i always need to remind myself when it's stuffed crust pizza time like hey dude just don't go for that extra slice at the end it's one of the perks of a uh, detroit style it's just got the thin little outer layer that's really crunchy and good i'm, I'm not a, i'm just not a crust guy but the thing is the entire pizza is on a bed of crust basically i know but the entire but you're getting your bang for your buck with every bite every bite has got the good stuff on it can you just crust enjoy the just pizza crust. enjoy the food i love the Dude. area of crust that is between the cheese but still has sauce on it oh yeah and not yet dry crust like i, I love that area it's called, i live in that area it's the pizza taint mm -hmm. <laughs> dude <laughs> it's we're not doing when you nibble tank. down to the, the pea tank dude it's over <laughs> What would you no prefer? It's that. such a good bite, though. It's moist. It's moist from the sauce, mm. but it's it's. I'm not sure I understand where which part of the pizza you're talking about. It's on, the pizza taint. Well, I was trying to explain this. Wait, where between the crust and the, the cheese ends? It's no man's land. And then there's yeah, then there's the little dusting oh. of sauce as you enter the full crust area. Okay. It's soft. It's a maybe taint. a little. Oh, it's it's the pizza taint, dude. Yeah, it's great. Know. But if you if you bite too much of the taint off, then you're just left with the the dry crust, and you can't have that. Dylan, before you even ask, yes, that counts as playing your taint card. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing. Pizza you actually taint. get two per week of those, so you don't have okay. to worry about it too much. That's good to know. You've been granted an extra card. Got yeah. it. Got it. Yeah, your your request has been seen through by the staff. <laughs> you've been you've been issued a hardship. <laughs> <laughs> good grief. 
Oh, oh, quick announcement. I shot 30 under on Friday. I want to get that in there. What, on for Dylan, uh, on Dylan's track house, or was this uh, during, during real spinner hours? This was during real spinner hours. I shot a 30 under. Uh, Dave and Randy were here to witness it. Um, that was my personal record. All-time low, 30 oh, PR. Under. Was he nervous? Did he have shake voice as he was on 18? Like I would if I had just needed like a bogey to get out. Honestly, sub, I set myself up for a pretty easy eagle putt on 18. Okay. We got it on video. Yeah, it was good. Was he cocky? He was like, he's like, I this is gonna be a long putt. We had to wait for Dave to get out of the bathroom. He was taking a mondo. He was going but, mondo yeah, in there. Big but, yeah. Dylan, I I've had numerous people reach out to me and ask, like, hey, like just as a as an aside to Dylan's track house, how did he get so good? Oh, how? Really? Yeah. There was a there was a gold team machine at um me not cat. And people just demanded that I hop on the sticks. And oh yeah. Them. Once it was once it was made known that you that there was a golden team machine, it was it was over. Yeah. Speaking of. Bro, let's go out this weekend. There's a crazy event happening. I like to turn up. Bro, bro, bro. There's a crazy event happening. Let's just go have fun and let's go with it. Little wood rolls, let's go. Recapping this weekend and fun presented by our friends over at Roback. I've been robed out lately. Roll back, don't don't know. We've had an unusually warm they don't spring, want you to do that, buddy. and uh, as we enter summer, and I have to say, Roback has come up clutch. I brought their bathing suit on vacation recently. Um, you can't get me out of their bathing suit, by the way. It is the most comfortable bathing suit I've ever worn. I put it on, life. and I was just like, uh, "Yeah, this is coming with me." The lining is goaded, el elite, goaded, goaded. Uh, I want. Played golf the other day, not to ruin this weekend in fun, but yeah, uh, robed out. Bom, bom, bom. Randy's bom, wearing a bom, rollback bom, right bom. now, Chicago Stop. style. Call him a dog. I got their loopers and, on. And their on, my, on my butt cheeks right dude, now. Everyone's flexing right now. I got, I got the shouts on. Hell yeah, dude. Shawty mm -hmm. getting low. Yeah. Washed 20. Washed 20 gets you 20% off at checkout. Load the cart. It is a one-time use code. Washed 20. Dylan, what'd you do this weekend? Ooh, thanks, Will. Thanks for asking. Friday, stayed in, because I knew Saturday was going to be a big day. Uh, Chels came over. We had a little uh, just cooked dinner and had some uh, still rosé. Just called it a, we watched a movie. Called still rosé. Yeah, because I cooked salmon. I cooked. Okay. Obviously, we need to know the methodology of this salmon. It's it's the one that I've been talking about. It's uh, the Asian the Asian glazed baked salmon that I I braille at the end, get a little little crisp on top, and it's really it's so easy and really good. Um, also roasted sweet potatoes and, and broccoli. Have you watched uh, Tony P's salmon tutorials? Oh, it's goaded. No, no one's making salmon. It's like right Tony in your P. lane. Okay. Right in your lane in terms of preparing salmon. I'll check it Dude, out. It's yeah. different. Yeah. Saturday, walked the dogs. Met. Uh, in the early evening, like a pre-dinner dinner, dinner met, uh, we met Barrett and his lovely wife, Laura, at Matt's, at, uh, sorry, at Mattel Ranchos. Mattel Ranchos, Mattel Ranchos, <laughs> Mattel Ranchos, Mattel Ranchos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One margarita there and some chos. Frozen or rocks? Uh, you know I'm a frozen boy. Top shelf or just a house? A house frozen with salt. That's my order. And I didn't. No I'll, one's no I'll, one's gonna swat that I'll out. I'll apologize to no one, and it was great, poncho style, inside or out, outside, mm. outside. They had the the misters on, I believe, and it was a nice little scene out there. Who was he? And then from there, hey, we went sir. to sounds like a barbershop quartet. We went to ladies Brett's. and gentlemen, the Mister. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello, <laughs> hello, Manila. <laughs> Would y'all fucking stop? God, y'all are annoying. And then we went to Me Nine Cat for, for Brett's 30th. And a lot of people showed up and it was a great time. And I I, I got into one, man. I drank a lot of beers that night. And um, yeah, played a little golden tea, turns out. Watch Texas take the L to Texas A&M. Dude, Dylan kept on calling beers nectars the other night. He's like, I'm so twisted off this nectar right now. Yeah, what was, was up with that? that? Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't stop. Yeah, that was great, man. It was great. <laughs> Sunday... Uh, went to go, went, met up with some fam in San Marcos for a little bit. Parks went to Schlitterbahn with, with, uh, with, oh, my, wow. with my sister. Wow. And fam. That's sick. Dude, that way he's telling all his buddies about that today. Yeah. And then uh, just came home and chilled with the little guy. What was his favorite slide? The Master Blaster. Oh, yeah. No, he didn't ride the Master Blaster, actually. He was, 
I don't know. They were only there for like three hours. Sort of bond rules. It does. It's so good. I want to go. Found out that his his grandmother got him a season pass. So <laughs> yeah, we're going back. That's nice. Can you get yeah. can you get us some swipes? You can swipe. Can us. you pass back? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Didn't realize they had named a slide after you. <laughs> <laughs> That concludes my weekend in fun. <laughs> Dave? Hey, these are good. No ads, but I haven't no had free one ads. But they're pretty good. Uh, Friday, Stars took the L as they did last night. Um, sorry, Dave. I'm sorry. It's just Friday's the one that did it. That was just a when bad, I go- bad performance. When I Googled the series and saw you guys were down 3 2, I, I felt for you. Yeah, it wasn't good. Wasn't good. But, um, yeah, Pizzeria Sportiva. And that was that was our big Friday uh, moment, and uh, we had we had a good time eating, eating za together. Um, Friday night, stayed in. Saturday, Saturday was a big day. Uh, Jim at about eight thirty got home. Rhodes is immediately saying, "I want to go somewhere." I'm like, oh, "Fuck! Dude, All right, well, dude, have you, we've reached the age, dude." He's just like, I want to go somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, wait, I was just at the gym. Let's go to the pool. So we went, I took him back, just me and him. We did a pool day. Did you get him on any weights? No, he did want to go to the gym. And I was like, you don't want to go to the gym. You, you're not actually allowed to be up there. He probably doesn't even wipe down his equipment. No, he's like, he's got that kind of vibe, doesn't he? Yeah. We did the uh, the pool for like two hours. It was, it was, it was a lot. I was very tired. I tried to sneak a nap in before Brett's. I uh, got about an eight-minute nap in, which is better than nothing. I had a great time at Brett's. Um, his hockey buddies, we got to talk about them. They're out of control, dude. They really, they really take the excitement level up a notch. It's just a good crew to have. Maybe I'm not mixing it up with that crew like at the event, but I like knowing that that crew is aligned with us. Well, so they're in like the top league of like the men's league hockey. They're in like double A. Mm-hmm. They've got skill. They, I've, I heard Brett telling someone they got skill levels leagues for everybody. I think we just hop in a crappy league and just start getting hammered with the boys. Let's go to drop in. Okay. Let's go drop in, play a little puck. They're going to be like, what are these guys doing? I'm just trying. Hey, we're just trying to learn. It's been a while for some of us. Uh, yesterday, woke up immediately, was told we should do fajitas. Yeah. I said, okay. So we did the, uh, we did some toss. I did a lime. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, mm-hmm. uh, marinade. It was pretty darn good. Uh, I threw them up on the uh, on the old grill, about four hundred degrees. They turned out pretty well. You know, you gotta. The key is, well, you gotta cut against the grain, as you know. See, I, I had to show Dave some pics of my meat the other day because I was worried that I was not doing it correctly. It makes all the difference in the world how you cut it. I didn't know how to cut it, man. And I st- I did it one way, and then I was like, I can't go back now, but it doesn't look right. You'll know if you cut it wrong when it's in- incredibly jerky-like. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, that makes all the difference. It's a tendon pull. Sometimes your meat does be jerky, though. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know what, man? Just end of the weekend, taking that L, but got a good night's sleep last night. And I'm, okay. uh, I'm here. I'm having a great time. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying doing this podcast thing, and um, I will yield my time to you. You know, I, I kicked the weekend off with a little uh, golf round um, with Brett Merriman, as well as uh, our accountant and friend, Blaine. Uh, friend? We went to UT Golf Club. Yeah, he got the friend ah. nod. He got the friend nod. I did something. Tell me if this is, tell me what kind of move this is. If it's aggressive, if it's not aggressive enough, what? Blaine invited us out for the golf round. Um, and Brett and I arrived at a very similar time and the cart guy put our bags on the same cart. And I was like, well, I, th- I feel like one of us needs to ride with the host. But as things started to transpire, we got on number two and I'm, I'm riding with Brett. I'm riding shotgun in Brett's cart. Right after we hit our drives on number two, I just go, all right, I'm riding with Blaine. And I just take my bag off of Brett's cart and I just put it on Blaine's cart. And I was like, I, I, he invited us out here. I never ride with him. I'm riding with Blaine today. And Brett was like, all right, I get it. Yeah. I understand. I understand. It shifted the vibe. Damn. Did Brett get his name right this time? He did. Okay, he good. did. He did. I thought about, I thought about mixing in a couple Blakes <laughs> just, just for funsies. He really struggled with that. Here's the thing about me. If you're in the Austin, Texas area and you need a scramble partner at any point in the near future, 
maybe you're doing a two man, three man, maybe even a four man. You want me on your scramble team right now because I'm pounding the rock off the tee. Really? Dead straight, just hitting it like crazy. Now, within 100 yards, there's a little bit to be desired here. There is some talk about the sand. The sand on that course was serious. Uh, I will say it was car path only, so our yardages were all a little guesstimate. Uh, it kind of took a few clubs to every single uh, ball in the fairway or in the rough and, and just tried to eye it out. Mm -hmm. Not ideal. Maybe that affected my sand play a little bit. But we'll see. How do you think it went? Well, well. I'm very impressed. I got to experience something I haven't experienced in a very, 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 very long time, which was hole-in-one vibes from an old dude who had completed his round shortly after ours. Busts in with the scorecard in his hand, hole-in-one, everyone's talking, suddenly we got beers on the table. It's a good vibe to be a part of. So when I read your tweet, I was, I was doing something else, and I thought you got a hole-in-one. No. If I got a hole-in-one, I would not tweet it immediately. I would be in the group. I would be in every group chat that I have showing photos that's, and videos that's why i was stunned i was like i can't believe he he dropped this on twitter no we just had an old dude man just hit it hit, knocked it knocked it close on number 12 went right in do you know if that was his first one i think it was his first one based oh, on the conversations great. that were going down yeah was he was he facetiming his wife no but he Probably did not. he did do the old man backwards hat move to really Love put it. out the vibe that's so great yep yep it was great it was great and he did buy he bought everybody beers oh yeah oh yeah yep yep a lot of people have mexican martinis on him it's a good time Good time. I didn't have a Mexican martini. They looked delightful, though. Uh, Saturday, I had the most unhealthy day I've had in a really long time. Woke up, went to the park with uh, my son, got three breakfast tacos. You know your boy doesn't normally eat three breakfast tacos. I went three deep. Damn. Uh, for lunch that day, I had a bunch of chicken wings from Lavaca Street Bar, where I watched the uh, Champions League final. Uh, prior to that, I had a fried chicken sandwich from Hat Creek. Jesus. Uh, Wait, how is that? I didn't know they did one. Yeah, it's new. It's new. It's pretty good. It's okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to go get it, but if you're not in the mood for a burger and you're at Hat Creek, it's not a bad alternative order. It's pronounced Frat Creek. Actually. It's, yeah, it's true. It's true. I, I think we need to do a burger challenge. Write that down, Randy. Oh yeah, we're like one of the only places that has. Yeah, yeah write, that down, Jack, write that down. Write that down. Hot Write that down. Write it down. Oh yeah. <clears throat> write it down. And one, we'll one or two it. hands. Hit the write it down gong. Nice. Yeah, then went to Brett's. Uh, I got uninvited from uh, going to some drinks uh, before Brett's with my wife. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, just was told, hey, uh, not enough room at the table, so uh, I'll meet you at Brett's. And I was like, all right, cool. So I did what I shouldn't have done, and I snuck in an hour-long nap that left me feeling the most groggy that I could feel going into Brett's. But we immediately turned it on, got sauce in the mix in there. He started buying me ranch waters. Harb's just going crazy. The boy's buzzing. Oh, what a night. Yeah, sauce, what a night. Sauce was in there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And you know what your boy did yesterday? Metal ranchos, metal ranchos, metal ranchos, metal ranchos. <laughs> he went to metal ranchos <laughs> <laughs> and he bought himself some fish tacos and not one, but two, two fountain Coca Colas, please. Did you upgrade oh. to Redfish? I did, and oh, I also wow. got them blackened. What's blackened the original redfish? fish? What are they? What's like the? the I think stock? I think cod. I think I think it's mahi mahi actually. Ooh, mahi mahi! I One of the most I fun fish it. names to say. You know I fucks with mahi. Yeah, mahi? if you don't if you don't freak with mahi mahi simply for the vibes alone, I don't want to hear from you. Yeah, mahi mahi is good enough. But the redfish upgrade is a great one. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Never asked. On Wednesday, did you do the ribeye with Drew? No, no. Drew, unfortunately, was sitting at the opposite side of the table for me, so splitting the ribeye was not the move. Uh, but I am going to do it at some point. It's cheaper than fajitas. I think you could order the ribeye, cut it up, get some tortillas, and suddenly you're eating good. Ooh, that's a little little Maddle Rancho hack. Maddle Ranchos. Maddle Say Rancho. it right, David. Maddle Rancho. Say it correctly. Maddle Rancho. Maddle Ranchos. I love a good hack. You guys watching anything good lately that I need to be on top of? Ah, uh, season two out of range, man. Boy, this show, I'm not real sure. I mean, I'm going to stick with it, but man. If you like, do you like time travel? Do no. you like space and time and no. the fluidity thereof? No. Do you like Western stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, then you might like a little bit of this show. Are these like space cowboys? No, not really. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Okay, just space pirates, sure. though. More on that later. Love Island season one tonight. I'm watching season one, episode one tonight. 
I don't think we cover it because I, I'm not going to be able to not watch it when it comes out. We also have Dylan's track house, which is taking up a large chunk of our time. Dude, real spinner hours? Dude. Randy? Randy? Real Maybe spinner hours? Maybe we just do a post-show Randy? stream. Cross-platform. Okay. A post-show stream. Cross-platform. It'll be us talking my jamma for like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. You think she comes out in a fire fit? Dude, cross platform. She's the gift that keeps on giving, man. <laughs> She's lovely. Did you guys cross swords at all with anyone from Brett's hockey team? Like urinate together? Yeah. No. no. They have the uh, the keg urinal. I like the uh, mean eyed cat. You know what I'm talking about? It's crap. It's, it's not in a closet. Keg in the bathroom. You just cut a big chunk Piss out on of the, the keg. Floor. So you pee inside it. It's kind of fun because I've yeah. always wondered what it would be like to urinate inside of a keg. Now you don't have to wonder. Wait, that's why I did a keg stand in the bathroom and it tasted like shit. <laughs> Someone, someone yeah, duped in the that. urinal? You shouldn't have done that, man. Yeah. That's all me. <clears throat> you were holding my legs, though. I've been watching uh, the content from this young lady on, on Instagram, uh, Justine. Not Jenna. What is it? Oh, no. That's not her name. Just, just an era podcast is what she goes by. Hold on. Can we hear from our friends over at Muggs before we dive in here? <laughs> When Dylan was holding my legs during the uh, the infamous bathroom keg stand, he probably felt some just buttery smooth denim on I my did. legs. Yeah, I did. it's probably because it was Muggsy. So what was your mouth exactly? I'm it's sorry, I'm just having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> People aren't worried about that. They're worried about my legs, which okay. were covered in the most damn comfortable clothing for guys everywhere presented by Muggsy. Muggsy started by reinventing the jeans game in 2015. Now they make the best jeans, chinos, tops, and joggers ever. If you guys want to do a keg stand, we'll be in Chicago in a few weeks. Dylan will be readily available as he's the most recent keg stander in a normal capacity. That's he's going to get annihilated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, buddy. You Here's what we that. like about Muggsy. They work exclusively with some of the best designers and manufacturers around the world, so you're getting just quality fabric to your door every single time. Their entire goal is to make guys more comfortable at work, at the bar, on the course, wherever, by giving them one place to shop. And Muggsy's got those staple items that are so comfortable. You can be in the office and no one's even going to think anything of it. They're going to be like, actually, <laughs> Randy's dressed great today. He must be in Muggsy. Guess what? <laughs> first time customers get 20% back on their first order right now. All you need to do is head to mugsy.com and enter your email, and the discount is automatically applied to your cart. 20% back on the only jeans and pants you'll ever wear. Again, free shipping, free returns on every single order. So the only risk is not knowing how great they truly are. Dylan, what were you saying? What were you saying? Uh, this young lady caught my attention on, uh, on Instagram. Her name is Sam Taylor. Mm -hmm. She's got a po new podcast called Just an Era Podcast. Okay. Is she on her Eras tour? And she recently went to Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Okay. Yeah. I'm familiar with that place. So she I posted a, um, a TikTok or a stream or a, I mean, real or both, whatever. Anyway. It's a video. Uh huh. It's a video. It's a, video. <laughs> a clip. It's a <laughs> clip of some sort. Yeah. clip from her yeah, podcast. It's, a, it's an internet clip. And she had recently gone to uh, Matt, the famous Matt's El Rancho. Matt El Ranchos, which is place, Matt El Ranchos. Matt El Ranchos, Matt El Ranchos. The place that yeah. we frequent. It is. And when you've heard about this many times if you are a listener of our show. So she went there and she left a little review and uh, people got a hold of it. Mm -hmm. Not sure why. <laughs> So we went to Matt El Ranchos here in Austin, Texas. And if you know about Matt El Ranchos, it's pretty similar to Donata's. The margaritas are massive. They are strong. And I don't know if they cut you off at two, but they certainly should because I had one and a half. And I was like, if I had that second one, girl, I would have I would have been down for the count. Okay. And I got a frozen skinny marg. They have a bunch of frozen margaritas which I love now that it's so hot having a frozen margarita. And then I also got chicken fajitas, which were amazing. The portion sizes of the food at Mattel Ranchos is insane. I think I spent a total of $50 with tip. The only thing about Mattel Ranchos is that you can't do reservations. So you just need to note that when you're going, there's going to be a very long line when you walk into Mattel Ranchos, but it goes pretty quickly. Like we had a party of 11 and... We were the next to be seated for the big groups and like the weight, which was pretty crazy given how big of a line it was. No stranger. Yeah, she's she puts that the apostrophe s on the the wrong. The the waves that this online clip made in the group text where I dropped it in was just insane. <laughs> like people were losing their minds. I mean, like, is she seriously saying Matt's El, Matt El Ranchos? Which is, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe like the most 
frequented, frequent, frequented, frequented, fre- fre- frequented restaurant. Frequented? In Austin. It's the most frequent restaurant. You just correct. scrambled your brain. What it's you're like, saying is exactly correct. It's the, it's the most frequented with restaurant yes, in Austin. It is. Most, like, <laughs> It is the most popular. Mo- I'll say it's the most popular restaurant in Austin. Like it is always jam packed. Everyone knows about this. Place. Everybody's freaking with it. Is what you move, you're if you move to Austin, you f- you hear about it within the first three days of being here. Like it's it's very popular. <laughs> like well, you got to go to Matt's El Rancho. Dude, but now I've completely shifted. Now all I want to do is call it Matt El Rancho. <laughs> I know. Like I don't want it to be called Matt's El Rancho anymore. Yeah, she's, Matt El Ranchos. The comment section, people are just roasting her for it. Well, I mean, here's the thing. As someone who moved to Austin nine years ago, the constant criticism is the people moving into town, ruining the city, everything like that. And I, I would definitely fall into that that group of people. I'm, I'm the worst. But I'm self-aware enough to not say Matt El Ranchos uh, as a, as a like, solo person, as a person within a friend group, just as a human being. Because it's just the number one telltale sign that you got to you, you, you're you're new. Yeah, and you might be wondering like, who are these fucking guys? Why yeah. do they think they have yeah. the right to to gatekeep Matto Ranchos? Well, the answer is we had our photo up for a short amount of time mm-hmm. in the yes. restaurant. Mm-hmm. So, yes, yeah. So I think we're fine. Not a lot of people can say they've had their photo up in Matt, Matt El Ranchos, and we have had our photo up for at least forty minutes in Matt El Ranchos. Matt yeah, then Ranchos. the adhesive wore off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm never calling it Matt's El Rancho. No, again. no. I've already been in group chats asking people if they want to go to Matt El. Like part of the reason I went on Sunday was just solely so I could send a text to somebody saying Matt El Ranchos. Actually, Klein wants to go there this Friday. Let's go. I'm in. Which gives us a chance to overuse it. All week long. I'm in. I'll go. Let's make this happen. Yeah, I'm absolutely in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will be going. I'll go to Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal Ranchos. Metal. Metal. It's like cattle. She, yeah, she doesn't even say Matt L. She's game in the system. She says metal. Metal. Do we need to get this pod in the network? Who, yeah. Who's she with? Who's she running with? <gasps> Ju- uh, who's just, running that shit? Just, just media. media. <laughs> Which I think is one of those like barstool girls maybe started. Is it? they're a part of it? Really? Yeah. It. yeah. I, don't know who, I don't know who they are. It's one of those names that Brett says in the office that I'm just unfamiliar with. Just no shade. media. No shade. Also no glaze, clearly. Just, okay. Sorry. Just making sure that wasn't Tommy Tough Knuckles outfit. No. Mean Girl Pod is a part of Just Media. They're the ones that left Barstool, right? I think so. Granny said, yeah. Okay. Should we start Nice Guys Pod? Maybe. What's up? We're nice. Who's running this shit? We're unthreatening. Just media. Should we take them out next after we t- after They got we some juice, I think. I think they got, I think they got juice. juice. Yeah, they I think they got juice. Out, I'm scared buddy. of them. Yeah. Uh, we, we won't mess with them. Better look out, Buster. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruffle any feathers over there. If they want to talk this out over a margarita or maybe in a Mexican martini at Metal Ranchos, I will do that. Randy, Business lunch. Randy was saying how she's really pretty or something. What were you saying, Randy? I think you should DM her, Randy. I think you should DM her. I think you should DM her. You think she's attractive? Higher than Sydney Sweeney. Okay. Dylan, we've got a package to the office today. Dude. Can you explain what's in the office? Yeah. So last week we were talking about V's and Cox. What episode was that? It's was pretty it much the uh, paywall one? Ask our archivist, Randy. Was it paywall? Was it voicemails? Sounds like it feels like it was a voicemail episode. Podcast Oracle. No, I no, think it was no, Wednesday was, morning's yeah, episode. It, it was a regular one because it, we were talking about the doohickey, not the contraption. The, yeah, the doohickey. It doohickey. was a doohickey. So we've been talking about V's and Cox since it, it, it hit the scene years ago when we saw uh, some young gentlemen enjoying it off each other's um, cranks. We were ground floor dub cocks. Yeah, we were. And so I'm here, I'm over here thinking, like, well, can we acquire some ourselves or is it just available in Germany? Oh, turns well, yeah. out you can buy it. The impulse yeah. the turns episode. out you can buy it on Amazon, and that's what I did. We got we got V's and Cox in the office right now. Comes in a cute little cylindrical thing. If you can, yet, if can get day. it to you very fast on the oh. autobahn, and it looks just it don't looks like cocaine. It's just a white powder it looks like Dylan. cocaine. Don't, don't bluff it, bro. But don't you, but you snort it. You snort it with your nose. So, so I propose we do it Sprinkle live. Sprinkle on the pizza taint. Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe you'll eat your crust. There's the Parmesan cheese oh, on the no, pizza taint. Too many carbs for the boy. <laughs> oh, you're watching your weight, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's cutting season now. Yeah. Oh, man. You want to look, you want to look cut for oh. shells? I yes. propose that we do it live on the... On the track house there's Okay. Okay. Can we I think we should all line do lines. Okay. Okay. Do okay. you do lines? Or yeah. do you just kind of just go? I think you just you drop a little on your hand. You can do a key bump and just Okay. So I, I will also I also have something that we need to do on the live stream on Thursday. 
you mind if I present this right now? In Please addition do. to the Wiesen Cox? Please do. Uh, we had the Gonster. Uh, now there's a lot of people out there <laughs> no. requesting the milkster. We're not the doing milkster. the milkster. People We're want the milkster, milkster, dude. No, my oh, wife does not want the milkster. It's the milkster. It's milk and monster. Okay, you can't um, handle the milkster. And so I think we're gonna do one single milkster on the I'm, on it. Milkster and cocks. I have a daily. Yeah. I doubt it in tolerance. Yeah, can't do it. I don't. If I'm willing to do a, a gonster, I don't see why there's a it, world where I wouldn't do a milkster. It just seems like it's real bad. No, but I like. I'm pretty good at milk. Can, can you actually get the real monster this time and not break it? Honestly, I might need someone to go to the grocery store with me because I truly thought that I got the correct monster the first time and it was not the fluorescent green one. <laughs> which so, which can are you looking for? You're looking for the – it was similar to his. It's the black one, but he got the zero sugar one. That's like – it was black. You just need to go with the regular black and green It was monster. a health play. It was a health play. What are you doing? Well, a health, a health play. play for a gonster. It's a silent killer, Randy. Yeah. What are you doing? If you can take one thing out of a gonster, I think I yeah. think the sugar. the sugar is the number one thing. I want to do a grape <laughs> soda. What's the grape soda again? It was uh, grape schnapps, grape pop and uh, peppermint schnapps. I think Milkster's got more juice. Tell me again what's in the Milkster. Milk, Milk and, and monster. monster. The Milkster sounds like a Dick Tracy villain. Hey, yeah, man, the Milkster. Man, the milkster. <laughs> He's been stealing crates off people's so, front steps. I do want to point out. So this stuff, V's and Cox, it translates to Oktoberfest Coke. Like that's the nickname for it it is not actually cocaine so when you see us doing this we're just doing a very legal substance that's just a menthol flavored powder that's what he told the bouncer at mean eyed cat the other night too is that what you told him imagine just doing this stuff in front of a cop here and be like no it's it's v yeah let's see how that goes I mean, for yeah you. you're really gonna put yourself in a situation yeah yeah i always want to explain that the drugs i'm doing in front of a cop are not the illegal kind of drugs they have little testing kits though right probably on their person no I think they do, or like in their in their whip, in their cruiser, their in their prowler, whip, in the police vehicle, the police car, dude. Police on thirty sixth, they just have it in their horse satchel. Maybe uh, I don't think they. I don't think they have a full drug test. Kit. You can't. You can't arrest someone. Um, yes, you can without testing it. Yeah, how you annoyed can. would a cop be if like yes. you were acting hammered on like a boat or something and you were all drinking NA beers and you were spraying beers, blasting music, acting rowdy, and they pulled up and you were like, no, joke's on you. These are <laughs> NA, dude. NA, Dumbass. NA beer and Wiesen Yeah, they're like, like what, what the are f- why are you doing? wasting our time right <laughs> dude, now? Dude, <laughs> I mean, how many people have been just pounding liquid death? It's true. And you know, I see those uh, those flashing lights. Has it made its way to the U.S. yet, Wiesen Cox? We're the first people to do it. We might be the first. We might be the first. No one's ever done it before. We're gonna I didn't know that it, at Oktoberfest, if you stand up and you slam your your uh, stein, if you don't slam it, they'll kick you out. Learned that this weekend. What? what? At least at the at least at the one that my brother in law went to. You have to slam your stein. Yeah, we were talking about going to Oktoberfest and how fun it would be. And he went a few years ago, probably like five years ago at this point. But he was like, "Yeah, I did." That. He's like, "I was really stressed about chugging the stein in front of all the people, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to, you know, have a video of me doing it." And you stand up on the table and chug it. And he said, if you don't finish it at that one, they'll, they'll just kick your ass out. Oh, you slam it, but that's how you prove that you finished it? Yeah. Got it. Yep. Imagine not slamming your stein. What are they made of? They call me Schlammstein. The steins? Glass. Are I, they? I have, a, I, have a, I have an authentic one from the Hofbra house. Yes. And it's made out of glass or like ceramic? I actually gave it away because it was a gift from my ex-girlfriend. It was hand-blown. I hand blew the stein. stein. They are very glass. They're very heavy. They're very ceramic. Nice. Ceramic. Yeah. The one that I got from the Hofbrau House was glass, and it was it was very thick and nice. Ended up using it as a trophy in a golf tournament that we made up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, figured it was a good repurposing. Mm. We okay. turned in a negative, uh, or <laughs> we turned in a minus forty three scorecard. <laughs> okay, Did you guys. That's win? pretty good. You guys yeah. Still lost. Yeah, we won. Yeah, one by eighteen strokes. Yeah. Hang on. Big, big victory. What is this you just sent me, Dylan? Two girls, one Stein. No, I didn't. What is that about? I didn't, I didn't send it. Fuck. Check my history. I didn't. Send I'm it. not gonna watch that right oh, now. Oh, it's just I'm. I'm watching. It's just two girls drinking. Oh, uh, they're cool. splitting one so they don't they get kicked out. The stein? Yeah, it's kind of a fun little thing. Oh, they're annoying. Yeah, it's fatty. Ah, he, he sent me a similar video. It's like a guy standing over a Stein. <laughs> stein <laughs> then stein. what happens? <laughs> Stein squat? <laughs> God, stop. why is that making a comeback? That's the worst video. Jar squat humor is making it a comeback. It's the worst one, man. Yeah, like out of yeah. out of all the bad videos from childhood that people would put on the screen, hands down, that is the one that hurts the most. Yeah, probably. I mean, what hurts the most? I'm sorry. Squatters, metal ranchos, oh. metal ranchos. 
I didn't want I, I got the fish tacos, but I wasn't I wasn't pleased with the order. They tasted really good, but it was one of those times when the entree arrives and you're like, man, this just isn't what I want right now. Dude, did you fill up on chips and salsa? No, I intentionally didn't. Because <sighs> I would. Mm. Squarespace. Today's mm-hmm. podcast is brought to you by one of my favorite companies, Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I've been a Squarespace user for over a decade. Yes, that means that I've been giving my money to Squarespace for over 10 years because I have faith in them and I like them. If you've ever been to washedmedia.com, the very website for this company, you will see that it's a Squarespace-run site. You can do so much on Squarespace, boys. If you're not familiar with it, it's the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. So whether you're just starting out of managing or growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place, all on your terms. I don't care if you own a business and you're like, oh, I need to promote this business. Or you could be an individual. You could be an artist and you're like, I just need to put up pictures of my work. There's no easier way to do it than going to Squarespace. You can just sign up, get one of their templates, upload everything from there. The templates are really easy to uh, manipulate and change based on your tastes. Go make it happen. You can even send emails. You can collect email addresses. You can sell products. You can make... You can have a form on there to make restaurant reservations. You can do it all. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash steam to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, squarespace.com slash steam. That's 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's also very easy to get a domain name on there. Yes. Like crazy easy. That's key. Major key. (laughs) Major key. Major key. Um... I I went viral this weekend, uh, so happy hour on me next month when Twitter money comes through. Uh, this uh, this photo of Tiger is uh, the most. Uh, it's something. Can't I, the man just live? We've all been here, dude. Dude, we've all been here, Dave. He's going through it. I don't like how Phil Ivy's looking at him. Phil Ivy's looking at him like, dude. I've been talking your ear off all night, and you're just over me. So Tiger definitely takes this seriously, right? Like he's ultra competitive. That's that's not in contention. It's, but like he looks like he's not having a good time because he's losing money. This is the beginning of you, the big the big wider picture. It's the beginning of a tournament. They all have the same number of chips in front of them, so he hasn't lost anything yet. All right, well, I'll fuck off. Yeah, Dave. Hey, dude. How do you know? How do you know, Dylan, that they don't all have the exact amount of money because they've all wagered the exact amount for every bet and won the exact same amount? You're right. He could have lost his ass before this tournament. You true. don't understand. This it's could true. be a crazy game of poker. That, oh, that's true. I mean, why did they do him wrong like that with the the light coming off the head? Man, dude, I heard I heard God. Tiger doubled up with a royal flush, but Phil Ivy had three jacks and a pair of nines. Is that right? <laughs> Probably not. Um, Tiger just said, fuck it, revolution. Is, he surpri- is it surprising that a man of, of means like that hasn't gotten a little help up top? I did I did have several people <sighs> respond to my tweet asking why he hasn't gone to Turkey yet. Yeah. Go to I Turkey, just, dog. Like, but like, is he, is he, does he not care? Uh, the no hat tells I don't me know, he doesn't. Man. I, what's your poker fit? If you're playing in a poker tournament, like, what's your vibe going to be when you sit down? Poker it's just fit. Poker fit. Thank you, Randy. No, it's just not It's not this. Like, because if you're sitting down at a poker table, you need to have a vibe about you to to signal people one way or the other. Like, you can dress down and have people be like, all right, I can take this guy. I'm wearing a Big Johnson t-shirt. Okay. Okay. Th- this is a guy you bully at the at the poker table if he's just dressed in a polo. Yeah, because you just know he's a rich dude who yeah. just tossed down. Like, yeah, yeah you you know that you can you can work him a little bit. Is that Sunday red? Probably. I I have a major issue. I would love to support Tiger and buy some Sunday red stuff. I think on the rack it looks great, but the, the amount of sweat that is pouring from his shirts is disturbing. They need to address that. It's not good. It's a bad look when you're trying to move product. I can't wear that in the middle of June in Texas let alone July, August, September. Man, Phil Ivey is nasty with the cards, though. It's, people were calling him the GOAT in my mentions. It's, he's not the GOAT, is he, he? He might be the GOAT. Is he the GOAT now? He might be. When I, when, I, when I was watching poker back in the day, which was admittedly about 20 years ago, like, he wasn't the GOAT then. 
Uh, you had Helmuth and like all those guys still lingering around. I think but he's considered like one of the best in the world, if not the best. Yeah. At that time, he was. He definitely was like, oh, Phil Ives at the table, whatever. But I didn't. Re- I didn't. I didn't realize yeah. that he was considered to be like that. He's low key away. nasty on the flop. Yeah, really, that's true. That's where he makes his money. That's true, man. Yeah. Uh, congrats on going viral, man. I thought like you, you got more traction on Instagram, is from what I saw. I didn't really pay attention to the Instagram thing because uh, Zyre didn't tag me. So I didn't get like notifications or follows or anything like that. No, it's just a Twitter you? play. They wrote my name in the caption saying it was from X. And I was like, well, I follow you. And like, you know, it's, it's all the same because, you know. Whatever account got a hold of one of my golf tweets a couple months ago definitely tagged me. I'm not willing to be the guy like in the comments like, hey, tag me. Hey, hate to be that guy, but there were a lot of backers in the comments uh, just tagging circling back, which was nice to see. That's, you'd love to see that. You know, I freak with my backers. Man, he really just doesn't look great. Why don't you tell the folks at home what the tweet says? Oh God, it's a long, it's a long tweet, David. Read it, dog. Do you want me to do a dramatic reading of yeah, the tweet? Definitely. Bachelor party, night three. Went too hard the first night. Rounded, <laughs> rebounded even harder day two. All catching up to you post steakhouse dinner. When you're four figures down, you don't think it will hurt to lose more or a thousand on top of it because you're already at rock bottom. Early flight out looming hard when you realize you're operating on muscle memory alone, you won't be able to sleep. Yeah, let's do one more double kettle and soda, please. We've all been there. <sighs> yeah. I could see Dylan yeah, sitting it's... here doing this, doing this thousand yard stare for a while. Yeah, like fuck. I have a photo of you in Vegas where you're at a blackjack table and you're like lean back, like giving me a look. And you look like you've been sitting at a blackjack table drinking all day in this photo. Really? It's like, a, it's one of the most unattractive photos I've ever seen of you. Oh, oh is that the one you're sending out? Mm-hmm. Thanks for not sharing it with people. I've yeah, got I got a lot you. of Vegas photos, by the way. Yeah. When I type in Las Vegas into my photo stream, a lot of good content comes up. Yeah. It's a good time. Hmm. I'm trying to find something. We try and find. Don't worry about it, dude. It's for your next segment. Ooh. I don't think I'm gonna find it. Okay. You're trying to find space music, aren't you? I can just sing it. Here's the thing. Space bar. Space bar. I'm talking about the space bar. That's gonna have to work for right now. Okay, so the space bar, it's a segment that's either about space. Or something bar related and not the exam that Dave passed years ago. Like Xanax bars? Xanax, no. Uh, like, a, like a bar where you buy alcohol, basically. Anyway, this one's about space, as they most, most of them are. It's not about a cocktail. You're not doing a cocktail recipe that you did over the weekend. No. Okay. There's no cocktail news involved here. There's no cocktail news. No. Okay. This is strictly about um, outer space. Okay. The first annual Space Piracy Conference will examine threats of orbital crime and smuggling. Hmm. Okay. Are you going, or is it over the meetup? I don't know if, if I'm allowed there. It's. I think you can register, dude. You can get a can media I? pass. Yeah, media credential, dude. It it's a, media. Oh no, it does say it's a two day invite only symposium. All right. Dude, I haven't been to a symposium in a while. I didn't catch that invite. Yeah. Do they, says, not under, they not understand that I'm a space guy? Well, do they not realize it says that this is only experts who have prepared to review crime, piracy, and smuggling in space? Are you familiar with any of these? What crime is occurring in space that I need to know about? Well, I think that's where the conversation needs to begin. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are we addressing yeah, here? Okay. Is this a real problem? Yep. It, will, it will be at some point. You think so? Do you understand what's going on up there? No. How about you fill me in? You're the space bar guy. Why don't you fill us in? I, th- I think you have some, fill some, me in. some information. That I'm, Do you want to hear what the on. executive director of CSCPG says? Yeah. Yes. He says, now is the time to start thinking about mitigating the threat of piracy in space. As we like to say, and please forgive me, Leon Trotsky, but you may, be not, you may not be interested in space piracy, but space pirates are interested in you. Are you, you willing to take that, that risk, Leon Trotsky? I don't think this is a... Uh... Like an imminent risk for me at the moment. You got to get out ahead of it, dude. Um, I'm more concerned about pirates on Earth, I think, than I am about pirates in space. Just for now, there's no difference between the space and piracy the ocean. is piracy. There's, I feel like there's a difference between space and. If the you ocean. can be a pirate in the ocean, you can be a pirate in space. Well, you got to have. There, yeah. You have to have the means to get to space first. They're done. They're getting out ahead of it. They have different vibes for sure. Isn't the it easy down here? Arg. I think it'd be easy to evade pirates in space because it's so it's so big and they have to like dock on your 
your craft. I don't know, I don't know if, if they're going to do that. Yeah. There's I, a dock. I don't. Mm. Who's, who's smuggling? It takes a lot shit? of time. Who's smuggling shit to a different universe? Yeah. Like, what galaxy are you trying to. Oh my God. What's happening here? Why is there, why are there space pirates? Uh, Han Solo, the really the most famous Millennium space Falcon. There is. He made the Kessel run less than 12 parsecs. He made Dylan. the what? And the Millennium Falcon. Oh my God. Exactly. I don't speak this fucking language that you're talking about. <sighs> what was he smuggling? Stuff. Heroin. I don't remember. Like, I don't remember. Mostly the, heroin. I don't remember the actual plot line from Star Wars. He, he was just a smuggler. He was smuggling. Dude, there was a war in space. He was just him. moving weight. He was smuggling wheezing cocks across the galaxy and they got his ass. How tight would it be if Ewoks could be your pet, though? That'd be great. You see foxes, what they're doing as of late? Fo like Apparently, foxes are like trying to be domesticated. They're cute, man. You can't turn a fox into a housewife. I've been saying that. Foxy, foxy lady. Different. I was talking about the, the animal horny? and you had to make it horny. Can, people surely have domesticated foxes. I'm sure they have, yeah. yeah. But like apparently they're wanting more and more to – like they're trying to warm up more and more to humans because they want to be nah, domesticated. Walk them, hey, them. look at me. I yeah. can live in – They see us at the park just like mobbing. They're like, hold up. I've seen a We're couple. kind of that. I've seen a couple around. They're it's fast not, little fuckers. Are they vicious? They're, you don't want to fuck with them. They, yeah, but they're not going to take down a two-year-old, right? I, that's too, yeah. that's, that's too big. I think they're taking down a two year old. They take down little rodents and bugs and snakes and shit. Probably they get no. They get cats. They'll snatch small they'll little dogs. Cat. Foxes would not bite a human unless cornered and attacked. Yeah, so learn unless that my two year old is. Yeah, don't let your two year old corner and attack. You said you were fox. trying to corner some foxes this weekend. I did say that. Yeah. Nobody puts baby in a corner. No. Let me let me just put that out there right now. The space and the ocean are kind of more similar than you're giving it credit for. Both very unknown. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of stuff out there. Okay. What, what Randy? I, I would just say I would get a fox. Those things are dope. Or a raccoon. No, oh, those are crafty little fuckers too. Well, you were talking to that girl who dresses like a fox all the time. Mm -hmm. She she asked to borrow Dylan's uh, foxtail. Yeah, you have major furry vibes with that foxtail. Oh yeah, you do have a foxtail. That foxtail's dope. It's fine. You brought it up. Yeah. Wait, another thing you brought to the office just mm -hmm. to like unload stuff. Yeah, just like if, if someone needs to get like an emergency bit off or something, just it's it's there for you. Oh shit, where's the foxtail? <laughs> exactly, it's there. Where's the foxtail? Ten steps away. An emergency bit. You never know, Randy. I, I mean, you're talking to the if guy. It's gonna yeah. happen. It's gonna be in this office. Let's do a, this is washed media video where we just. Emergency bit. The bit alarm goes off, and we all have to sprint. <laughs> I, I know exactly what I'm running towards. We need a bit wheel where you just spin it, and then whatever true. bit you got to fucking do that. It's true, man. Randy, make a bit wheel. I'll make a bit. Here, wheel. while I do the stamps.com read, you you make a bit reel. All right. Okay. You guys hear about stamps.com? Yeah, man. It gets our stamp of, of approval. approval. Yeah, thank you. It's like, mm -hmm. dude, we're so in sync. We finished each other's sentences. Work-life balance doesn't feel realistic when you're working through lunches or staying up late to catch up. You guys know how it is. You got an errand to run at lunch and suddenly it's all over. You're, you're just constantly at work. You're constantly running around, constantly getting annoyed with stuff. What if you could free up some time consumed by tedious mailing and shipping tasks with stamps.com? They streamline your postage needs, making your business more efficient and putting more life into your work-life balance. That's a beautiful thing. Anytime you can, uh, you can streamline the process of shipping anything, it's a good day. You can take care of mailing and shipping wherever you are, even on the go with Stamps.com mobile app. It's a 24-7 post office. All you need is a computer and a printer, and they even send you a free scale. we got a free digital scale right here in the office. From small business to multi-location organizations, Stamps.com handles all your mailing and shipping needs while reducing costs and increasing profit. They can connect with every major marketplace and shopping cart if you sell online. You can access USPS and UPS mailing services that you need to run your business right from your computer or phone at any time, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Hey, post office, bye 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 You can even get cheaper rates, up to 89% off USPS and UPS rates. There's no reason not to do it. Put more life into your work-life balance with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code CIRCLINGBACK, all one word, for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page. And enter circling back, no space, all one word.
Got some dog bite rankings. You guys ready for these? <laughs> guys, I'm good. These like the best I'm dogs good. to get bit by. Yeah. If you could get bit by any dog, what would you do? Oh, uh, man. The only dogs that have ever like really bit me are small dogs. Chihuahua type dogs. Yeah, yeah, I had a Yorkshire Terrier that would nip at people's heels every once in a while. Pretty annoying. Wiener dogs. He said a he said a Dalmatian that got pretty aggressive in his old age. Oh, snapped. Dalmatians can get they yeah. can get feisty. They they can. Yeah, they're a feisty breed. He he lost his eyesight and they made him extra aggressive. No shade to Dalmatians. I freak. And cute man. Yeah, uh, you guys aware that yesterday June second was the first day of dog bite awareness uh, campaign Very done by aware. USPS. That's right. That's I, something I did I've, not know. I'm happy to say that I've been a part of this for, jeez, 15 years now. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was actually talking to Randy's postman the other day, and he thought that Randy had gotten some type of adopted puppy or something, but it was actually just Randy watching the Matt Cell Rancho video. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just barking. What video? <laughs> Metal ranchos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Metal yeah. ranchos. Metal ranchos. Yeah, it's metal, metal ranchos. Yeah, metal ranchos. A lot of growling coming from 34A or whatever. So what is this list? Well, they've, they've isolated all the dog bite uh, incidents in every city in America. Uh, any guesses on what the top cities are? Oh, I'm immediately going to think the, the, the big cities are the ones with the most dog bites. Yeah. You know. What if there's one dog that's just putting up big numbers in like <laughs> Omaha? <laughs> He's just terrorizing the town. <laughs> we got to get this dog off the street, man. It's like, dude, what? <laughs> I'm going to say it's just, it's just a who's who of big towns. Yeah. And looking at the list, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. L.A., Houston, Chicago, St. Louis, Cleveland, San Diego. Dallas in the top 10, Dave. Let's go. Where's Austin? Austin's, Austin's not, not even on there. I kind of think we need to get our numbers up. The top state. The city. <laughs> or not. The top state, but last two years running was California. Yeah, that makes sense. Texas is number two, though. We got it. We got a dog in the fight, literally. Oh yeah. <sighs> I don't think Rosie would ever bite anybody, but her bark signals that she would take something down. These numbers are much lower than I would expect them to be. Yeah, but you got to think that postmen have their tricks. Like the in twenty twenty three, the number was seven hundred twenty seven dog bites, and that ranks number one. Dude, like, what if they just carried around like some dog treats in their pocket so they could just throw one and take it off their scent? I would carry a big old T-bone steak raw and just toss it out there and let the dogs go get You'd it. You'd carry a T-bone with you every day. Yep. I'd carry a handgun and just square up with the dog. I don't think like, they understand. Stop, stop. They don't understand that that things can hurt them. I wouldn't all. shoot it. They're not scared of the blicky. Right, but they're, it's not gonna be, they're not going to be scared of it. Something I just want understand. people to be like looking at their ring cam, wondering why their dog's barking, and just see the postman. Just They carry mace. Most of them carry mace, right? Really? Pretty sure. Isn't he usually doing his podcast? I don't know. Well, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Bad, 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 bad boy. What you, what you gonna do? How'd it go? You make me feel. You so make good. me feel so good. You know you close, make me feel dude. so You were really close. You know you make me feel so good. Put that on. Do you know it? You, why don't you do the lyric completion portion of yeah, Do You, you Know idiot. It anymore? I like Sorry. that one. Because if you don't know the song in general, it, like you kind of double. You're not getting bonus points if you, didn't, if you didn't even know the song in the first place. And I, you know, I would thought. Mixing up with some movies would be fun. I was Not good at that Brett. one, though. I feel like my winning percentage has gone down since you've stopped doing it. The movie well, one's difficult. I'll, I'll give you that. With the movie one, you can maybe get the act. If you not, don't even know the movie, you can maybe get the actor's voice, usually, if you're good. I usually do pretty well on those. Yeah, see? I talked Dude, about all it. that Netflix and chilling you do. Oh, Dave. Stop. Sorry. Dave. He's looking at his phone. He's checked out. Yeah. He's like, oh, now we're doing Netflix and no, chill. I, I put the V's and Cogs on uh, the Instagram story on Circling Back, and someone said, whose piece is that going on? So we got to select a piece. You're right. Yeah. We do. It's a va valid, valid we'll request. Randy, Randy, straws. I, I made the bit wheel. Do make I a, make piece a piece wheel, wheel yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> piece, <laughs> wheel. <laughs> piece wheel has legs. <laughs> Three of them. Oh. Randy, can you queue up a video? Dogs are crazy, yo. Um, as as previously stated on this very podcast, uh, Love Island debuts tonight. Mm. Um, something I like to do during every Love Island season is hone in on one saying that they do, one weird British slang saying, and then just like really own it for the rest of uh, the summer. Just make it annoying. Say it to my wife around the house. Have you guys seen this video that's come out? Some British abbreviations that I'd like to uh, enter into the chat for the summer. She's kind of cute. I mean, can we just watch the video without you just getting full yeah. on hard? She's got <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. 
Do you fancy a bossy bee? A bottle of beverage. <laughs> With the girls. Get a body bee is bottom of the bottom of the Yeah. <laughs> How are your resi lose? Resolution? Yeah. Well, we hit up Shorty with a resi lose. Savvy B. Savvy B. We use that. We use Savvy B. Imagine B. Really, really fancy some Gaza B. Uh, that's a stretch. Sure We're not doing that. Gaza B is not garlic. I don't even get that. Really fancy a peppy tea. Peppermint tea. Yeah. I've really got to do a Paz P. It's not what I'm doing. I almost failed that. because of Paz P. Almost failed. No. Yeah! Wow, <laughs> uh, parallel park. Jenny Lecker. The general election. Dude, are you doing Boy, a Jenny Lecker? Jenny Lecker. Gas bill? Oh, garlic bread. Yeah. Body yeah, B's got really leg. That one's salad actually salad. catchy. Body B's good. Salad Time salad. out. Salad cream? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I got a question. Salad cream. Here. Like, they are so British. What is salad yeah, cream? Some, is that salad dressing? Is that a creamy salad dressing? Oh, yeah, it's just salad dressing. Do you know what paracetamol is? No. I didn't know what this was until we went over there. My friend said she needed it's something. A, I was like, what are you talking about? Is it sunscreen? It's like Advil. Huh. Oh. Or like, yeah, Paracetamol. a pain relief. Yeah. <laughs> Give them to the Clappy J. Clappy Junction. Okay, yeah. I don't even know what that is. Clappy, clappy J. J. Oh, Clappy J. Sounds like something I, body I acquired B. in college. My body roommate in college. They, they do this them. thing over there and I don't understand it. But it's it's like when they said, what, uh, garlic bread, Gaza, Gaza, Gaza B. Gaza B. They use A Z Z A after the first initial of a word as like a nickname, and I've never really understood stood it. it There's an old soccer player Gaza. whose name was uh, Paul Gasgwine, and they would call him Gaza. And then there's another player, Wayne Rooney, who you're familiar with, who would go by Waza, who was a similar player to him. That's weird. And I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. Hard to make the connection. Let's start calling you Daza. God, they got crazy Gaza. Riz over there. Daza C. They just God sound, tier Riz. They sound so cool. Dude, the way they talk. Wiz. They got good Wiz. Why do we so quacked with the Wiz? Randy, we're going to lose people. You keep that shit up. Me yeah. being one of them. Yeah, Micah, Micah's, Micah's appropriating accents were better than your Twitch voice. <laughs> it's for a younger audience the, underneath our age. I, I think Are we you, need to get older at the position. No, no, no. I want Randy out there. What, what age demo is this? Yeah, who are we trying to reach Gen right Z. now? I said it to Callie's friends, and they all started doing the voice, too. Okay. <laughs> it's, okay. Just, it's just a TikTok thing. All right. It was, it was, these it, are the kids who bullied me off Rainbow Six. It was, what do we so pog us? I wish you had something else to do so we didn't have to end it on that note. Blame but. Will. He's the one that brought the voice into the chat. Just mute his ass. I could just mute his ass. Yeah, I'll probably Randy. figure out a way to put his shit in yeah, there he's, more. he's always got little hacks over there. Is he going to do anything dope this week? Oh, Friday looks like it could be the move. I'm going to mix in some real spinner hours or something. I don't have shit to do this week, man. How's your tea? I don't know yet. I'm about two weeks in. Yeah, but you were hanging out hard, so you probably like got a little bump there. There are moments when I'm like, I'm fired up right now. I wonder if this has anything to do with my Clomid. Mm -hmm. You know? Is it weird that I'm taking it? Do I need to be like coy about it? I kind of no. want people to know I'm teed up from the feet up, you know? You pumping weights yet? No, nah, dude. Okay. Get, get on that Peloton. I do need to get on the Peloton. The Peloton's just collecting dust in the upstairs right now. Mm. We did work out the software issues. It's currently a functioning bike. A little dust on the Paza? Yep. I did on it On the right. Paza, dude. A little dust on the Paza. Are you guys going to watch the Island? Bow. Yes. I don't know, man. Why? Because it's such a time commitment. Why? What fucking shit it's show are you going to watch? minutes every Dude, I have the whole you're gonna watch Harry the, Potter shit to watch. Harry Potter. You're going to watch the, You're gonna watch one movie. And it's going to take you seven days because you took a nap in the middle of it and you fell asleep. I'm watch, you, Parks wants to watch with me. So I'm like, saving I'm, I got done with the third one, but I still need to watch the credits. That Haza P. <laughs> the Haza P, dude. Haza P is good. It's not bad. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. It's better than Harry P. <laughs> boy who lives. They've been calling Dylan the Harry Potter with how slow it takes him to watch a movie. That's, that's just... No, they were calling you that. You do Come take on, a long man. time. Come on, man. Eh. Eh. He's the Harry Potter. We're out of, we're out of stuff. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's... I'm going to go home and eat leftover fajitas. Ooh. You're not going to bring the gift of leftover fajitas to the squadron? I got to see how much. Uh, Did you say what had. type of meat? Steak. Okay. We'll cut. I went with the old skirt steak. Oh. The old skirt steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain is a bigger sundress steak fan. 
Don't you owe me barbecue? For what? For helping you set up the barbecue thing. I don't think you ever brought me food in. We went to uh, the place. Oh, yeah, yeah. We went to K-Pod. That's what it was. Yeah, okay. what the hell are you doing, uh, dude? I trying to double collect? That, I you got... he said he was going to bring me a little bit of barbecue. You had a very public K-Pod dinner. Yeah, we it's went true. to K-Pod. We waited for an hour to go eat K-Pod. A delicious. meal that we had to cook. I thought you guys skipped and went in the VIP line. <laughs> no, that was, that was for the haunted house. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got a fast pass. I want to go to haunted house more than I want to go to Aqua. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, okay. You had cool. so much energy delivering that. <laughs> it felt so good. You dude, get in there? Dude, we're after 70 minutes, man. I'm, I'm on fumes Oh, now. shut up. I'm on fumes, Shut the dog. front take door. Some, take some fucking cocks. Yeah, Weezen. Oh, yeah, I'm just Weezen right now. Up. Fucking Randy, it's not the stream yet, you dumb bitch. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, he's cranky. Maybe we're... Hey, God. Why are you so mad? Wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. Wrap we got too much to We got to wrap it up now. We're too much crust. I'm a little hangry. Oh, you're too much pizza crust. I don't know, pizza tank. I have to go to the dry cleaners. What am I going to get to eat near there? What's, Which what one do you go to? Uh, I'm going to the one up the street. The Zippy Zips or whatever it's called? I don't want to say the name. Someone's going to roll in there and pick up my Johns. They're not going to get your Johns. <laughs> they're they're going to get my Johns, dude. They're going to be like, oh, I don't have my slip. Yeah, and then they're going to get a bunch of, yeah, they're going to get a bunch of, I don't know, crochet shirts and shit. I go to, Tom, what's someone, Tom Brown's? Jack Brown. Jack Brown. Yeah, I go to Jack Brown's. There's like 25 of them, so you will, you'll never find out where. You can get my Brooks Brothers button downs that are way too huge. Frat. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Metal ranchos, metal ranchos, metal ranchos, metal ranchos. Metal ranchos.